How are all of you doing out there? It's the man, the myth, the legend, Quad MFT here today. I've got an advice video, guys. You know, every Wednesday, my dad and I like to upload advice videos. So, Dad, introduce yourself. Hey, what is up, Warriors? It's the Quad Father here. And today, what do we have? Three? Yeah, I think we've got three and a little bit of a bonus one at the end. All right. Let's hear <laughs> the first one. All right. Here's the first one titled, Need Help Advice. Hey, Quad. So, this year, I'm a freshman in high school. And there's this pretty girl that sits next to me in one of my classes. And she's in two other classes of mine, supposing that she doesn't sit next to him in those classes because he mentioned that she did in the first one. So, I decided to talk to her and we are now friends but like one of those in school type of friends I, I get that we talk to each other almost every day usually small talk and every once in a while she will ask me for help on homework or something I really want to ask her out but he, he's not writing this very well but I really want to ask her out but the thing is she talks to a lot of other guys and she knows that I'm better than her or that she knows them better than I know her uh -huh. I feel like she would just say no because I don't know her as well as some of the other guys do what should I do a reply would be nice but I'm feeling but but feel free to use this on a video so clearly we're using this on a video because you guys are watching this right now now, but what should he do, Dad? What's your advice? Well, you know, I, I think if she knows all these guys and she's still talking to him, that means he's in the running. Because if she had a mm -hmm. if she had a boyfriend, she, you know, she would You'd he would know off. it. Yeah, yeah, he would know it. And you know, it, anytime you're dealing with girls, I think first of all you're in trouble. <laughs> because, yeah, kind of. Because if you're trying to figure them out, you're never really going to be able to figure them out mm -hmm. because they're fickle. They you know they they mm -hmm. like a guy, they don't like a guy, they yeah. like you know. So you, you can't really ever figure it out. Uh -huh. So. Anytime I was dating and I thought about dating a girl, I just made 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 friends with the worst outcome. Okay. What do you mean? What I mean is, what's the worst that can happen if you ask her out? Yeah, what's true. the worst? She can say no, and then you don't talk to her. Yeah, uh, and then you what? Well, I don't know. She, then you, you then, to her. then you move on. Exactly. You you just you say no. Like okay, and if she says yes, and there's a chance she'll say yes. So if she says yes, then you basically just won. But if she says no, so what? Just, you just know find what? another girl. I used to I used to hang out with a guy when, we, when I was going to the bars and night when I was nineteen. No, when I was twenty one and, mm -hmm. and a little older. And you know what? This guy would he would he would get a girl every night. And you know how he did it? I think oh. I, it took a while. We were going out several times before I figured I, out I know. his game. Here's his game. What's the game? Approach 15 women. Exactly. It's a numbers game. Right, right. It's so It's true. Yeah. And, and where I was, Oh my I, gosh, this guy's a player. No I would care. He was. I, yeah, I would exactly, get focused. But he's a beast. I would get focused on one girl and then I would work all night trying to figure out how to get close to her, ask her to dance and those types of things. And I would, you know, I'd usually strike out. Mm -hmm. So if if it doesn't matter which girl, which I'm not saying it should, but but you know there's lots of girls in school to to try to ask out. So I would say make friends with the worst outcome. She says no, that's fine. Move on, find another girl. There's plenty of girls out there. You may say, oh no, this is the only girl I can see. This is my only opportunity, dude. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it, it's, it's not. not. It's not. It's not. I mean, mm -hmm. there's one. I mean, look around. We were at uh, Pax. Yeah. And I got to say, some of the guys there weren't the best looking. Didn't look like they had the most on the ball. <laughs> yeah. They were with girls. Exactly. It, it's a numbers game. So let's move on to the next All question. Right. Hopefully that guy can figure out what he needs to do. But this one says, hey, Quad MFT, need some, uh, need some help slash advice. Right now I'm in eighth grade. So I was in eighth grade last year, guys. So I'm about one year older than this guy. And he said, and I'm having trouble with school attentiveness, which is like paying attention. If you guys don't know what that means. He says, it sounds dumb, but please help. That's what I'm here for. I've always been a straight A student forever. And this year I'm slacking off. And not getting good grades and this year I've been terrible with girls and there are a lot of pretty girls in my school what should I do please help and keep making awesome advice cod vids thanks man okay so I think you should you should start on this one it's, it's a two-parter mm -hmm. right we have the attentive in school and a pretty girls and he's striking out all right so yeah my, my first thing with the attentiveness to school is in the beginning of high school which is this year for me my first year of high school grade nine or ninth grade I, I really struggled you know I was struggling with paying attention having all these little you know all these different distractions that can really go on so I, I just basically the main distraction that I noticed I kind of narrowed it down and realized that it was mainly my phone because you can use your phone in high school basically whenever you want you know you can't use it in class but there's a few classes like I have a few classes now that I can use it in but that would easily get me distracted so many different little things would go on and it, okay. I just wouldn't be able to pay attention you know I'd still get my work done but it wouldn't be the best work that I could possibly do okay so you figured out you Narrowed watched down, what was yeah. you yeah you watched what was just distracting you so that's mm -hmm. part of the advice right is yep. figure out what it is that's distracting you and it's you know to be honest this is a really really common thing especially at that age and at your age mm -hmm. because social becomes so much more important than anything else. Yep. Okay, it's more important. It's, it's, family, I don't think it's true. School. Though. Well, it, no, it it is important, and you're trying it's to figure it out. It's important to you, but it, it's not it, now. Oh, well, it didn't it matter valuable? for you. It doesn't matter for you now, right? 
for your me, high school sociability. No, I, don't, I barely like. remember it, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I mean, see? you know, I can remember a few events or yeah. weeks or tests mm-hmm. or whatever, but by and large, I really don't remember it. Yeah, see, you know? people act like all these little things, ma- they matter so much, and they act like it's going to be the end of your life if you get a C on this test, dude. You know, C's to get degrees, right, Dad? Yes, yes they, do. I they do. Like to <laughs> you say can't that. deny. Uh, but, the, <laughs> but C's don't necessarily get you into college. Ah. Uh, not the, not, not a decent college. They get they get you into community college or grade thirteen. Well, what what's wrong with uh, community college? Well, it's not as good as university. No, C's don't get you grade thirteen. Yeah, they do. No, they don't. They if don't I get, get C's in all my classes. You 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 get you don't get into a university. I I, I get out of high school. Okay, but that's okay. Whatever. That's <laughs> out of high school is not a degree, Uh-oh. and that was your point. I I like that degree. <laughs> that's called no, that, a diploma. That's a good, <laughs> it's not a degree. Same thing. No, they're different. But you okay. haven't finished high school yet, so what do you mm-hmm. know? Barely even started. Okay, though. so the, what's the second part of this this guy's question? Uh, he, he asked that he used to be really good with girls, and now he sucks. I I, I feel that, dude. I mean, not okay. necessarily with girls, but, you know, it's weird that I'm relating girls to Call of Duty. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like back in Modern Warfare 3, in the beginning of Black Ops 2, I was this phenomenal player. Like, I would pull off 100 pluses after 100 pluses after double mobs, after triple mobs, after all these crazy gameplays that I could do. Okay. And now I just, I don't know. I, I feel like I, I can't do that. Even though I know I can and I know if I actually tried and did what I did back then, I really could. Okay. I, now it's just like, I, I don't know. I'm not slacking, but I'm putting on music and talking to all my different friends and all these different things. And well, you let, know, Let me ask you a question, mm-hmm. okay? Let's say you, know a fr- you have a friend and he sucks with girls. He never has a good mm-hmm. girlfriend or whatever, right? So over a couple years, he's dating or trying to date and he never gets a date with any pretty girls. Yeah, right? okay. And then he gets a date. And he starts going out with this beautiful girl. I mean, way above his league, right? He outkicks <laughs> yeah. his coverage for sure. Yeah. Right? What do you think of him? I think he's a beast. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so back to the, my original thing about the girls. You know what? It only takes one beautiful girl. It only takes 100 plus game, one chem, before yeah. you say, wow, I'm back on. I'm in it's the game true. again. Yeah. If I were to go on and pull off a triple mob right now, I'd be like, wow, I'm a beast. Right, exactly. Just, so I, so you, so you, just like this guy. you know, It's just there's try like, and try and try. Right. And you know what? To be honest, girls like it when you become friends with them and talk to them and get to know them. Yeah, but they, they don't want someone who's like super caring and all that. Like, no, that oh, was... no, no, they think they want it. They're like, oh, I want some guy who's super caring, always there, always attend right. him, always everything, right. everything, everything. No, you don't. That was my problem. Is I got stuck in the friend zone all mm-hmm. the time. Girls mm-hmm. would talk to me about all the guys they wanted to date. I'm like, dude, I want to date you. Why are you talking to me about this guy? That <laughs> yeah. way I knew I was stuck in the friend zone. So yep. you don't want to stay in the friend zone too long, mm-hmm. but you girls fall for guys when they get to know them. Very true. All right, let's move on to the next question. This was said, advice. Hey, Quad, I wasn't really sure to talk to you and Quad farther about this, but knowing you're that you're only a year younger than me, so he's in eighth grade or he's 13 years old, which basically... No, you're a thing. year younger than me. So you're, he's a sophomore. You're only a year... Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, I read that incorrectly, but... I'm kind of the nerdy kid at school and don't have many friends and no girls really like him. So it's really okay. depressing. And I know your dad's a counselor, which he is, and can give me advice. You're a freshman, so you probably already have a girlfriend, which, no, I don't. But you can give me any advice on how to get friends and not be all sad all the time because I can't get a girl. Love you, quad. No homo, which to him I say full homo. And you don't have to add this <laughs> to your video series, but you can. You're number one subscriber. So I-, I thought I'd do it anyway. It sounds really interesting. but So that homo um, thing's not really why you don't have a girlfriend, is it? Uh, no, no. Okay, good. Because <laughs> I just was going to love you a little less. I mean, yeah, I still exactly. love you, of but course, just a little of course. less. Yeah. Okay, so um, he's actually, he, what, he's he's saying, I, I don't have girls, I, I, I'm kind of a nerdy kid. All right. Yeah. So what I say is do what you love. Do okay? what you love and love what you do. Sure. <laughs> it doesn't really <laughs> relate know. to this. But, I don't know, dude. Freestyle. But, no, okay. So, no, if, if he just goes and pursues his interest, the things that he actually enjoys. There are other people that are nerdy out there. Let's say you're really into League of Legends. There's millions of people out there who like League, League of Legends. There's tons of people who like Call of Duty. There's tons of people who like freaking Rubik's Cubes. Right. I, I don't know what it is. Right. Just, and and they're, they're girls, the too. Yeah, Supposedly, I just read an article today about the new Xbox and the new commercial mm-hmm. and how it was offensive to girls because the guy was playing the video games and the girl wasn't. Lame. But, well, that's dumb. You know? Well, they said 50% of gamers are girls. Ah, come on. Like, <laughs> so do, if you love gaming, do that. Talk about that. There will be a girl that has a similar interest. And, and you'll if you get say to you have her. no friends, go out and do social activities. Talk to people. Talk to people on Instagram and Ask FM and Twitter and all these things. Kids nowadays, all they do is social media. Yeah, a lot of your friends that you you actually discovered that people know you from Call of Duty and mm-hmm. YouTube 
and they actually go to your school. So yeah, virtual great. friends can become real life friends. And here's the little quick, quick little bonus question we got from Green Goblin HD. Most of you guys probably know him. He says, I need advice from Quad Father. He's like my best friend. But all right, he let's says, do it. I met my GF on Xbox Live, but I can't touch her, so I cuddle my teddy bear every night. What should I do? I'd say, I, I don't know. What should he do? Uh, cuddle your teddy bear rapidly. Rapidly. And you know what I mean by rapidly. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like down below if you didn't, or if you did enjoy. That was really fast. I'm kind of like an auctioneer, but make sure to check out my social media links down in the description below. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. It's been quite a few. See you next time. <laughs> See you in the teddy bear.